Good morning. This week is a very special week in Chodesh Elul. So we have on today is Yud Aleph Elul. That is, today is the Chasna of the Rebbe Rav Shab. The sixth Lubavitcher Rebbe, and Yud Gimel Elul is the marriage of the Friedrich Rebbe, the seventh leader of Lubavitch, which this Shabbos benches, blesses Chai Elul, the eighteenth of Elul which is the Atarebbe's birthday and the Baal Shem Tiv. What do we see with the Baal Shem Tiv? Baal Shem Tiv was the beginning of Hasidus. Hasidus philosophy. His Aveda was, as his name is Yisrael Baal Shem Tiv, like he was the owner of the shame. He used to go out into the world and reveal God's name in the world. So no matter how high the Baal Shem Tev was, he learned with Achia Ashiloini, the one that taught Eliyahu Anavi. He was a very high soul. Nevertheless, he went out into the field and revealed the Israel in each and every yid. He revealed the Neshama. But what is the name Israel? It comes to remind us is Afa Pisha Chata Yisrael Hu. That even if he sinned, he sinned, so his neshama is concealed. There's nothing there besides his neshama that is hidden. And Afa Pisha Chata. That even though he sinned, is Yisrael who is a Yid and the highest name of a Yid, Yisrael. That was the Baal Shem Tiv. He revealed Yisrael in each and every Yid. He traveled. He did not stay in this place. That was his Aveda. He revealed by Yisrael, which Alpha P Yisrael, Alpha P Shachata, even though he sinned, is Yisrael. He revealed that he in them. He used to ask everyone, How are you doing? How are you feeling? How is your Panasa? How are your children? And every time you get a Baruch Hashem. So he was Baal Shem Tov. Now let's go to the... Let's go, which is closer to us. Shalim Dov Ben. We know that the north side was left open. God created the world. And the north side was left open. So a person can say, wait a second. If God created like that, leave it open. But the Torah says, Asher Bara Likim La Soisa, we have to do. The Torah, what is going on over here as follows. 
Shalom Daiver is Shalom peace. Before the world was created, was God Himself. Ain't ain't safe. Who is Ain't safe making peace with anyone? Nope, he's not making peace with anyone because there's no one around at that time. Before the world was created, he had to consult with the Neshamis of Tzadikim. And I guess that's why we're still in Galus. Because he, he enjoys our service in Galus. And then there was a Tzimtzum. The light got smaller and smaller and smaller until there was a second existence where you need to make peace. And lower and lower and lower until it came to this world. With the concealment of our godliness that's where arguments come about. When we don't feel God. Shoshalim is to make peace with every single Jew. Until his la second name is Doiv Ber. Doiv Ber. Ber, a beer has a lot of meat in it. Meat can be very low. Until it says in Amaritz is not allowed to eat meat. Someone that is in a low level cannot eat meat. So it's in a very low level. So that means no matter how low a person goes, we have the Koyach of Sholem Dov Ber to reignite the Alikus. A Jew is never lost. No matter how low you go. Shalom is making peace between your Nefesh of Bahamas and Nefesh of Likis. Yisrael ignites your Nefesh of Likis. So we have the power of every Rebbe in the world. That no matter how low we go. So we go further to Yosef Yitzchak. That Yosef Avayli Ben Acher. That not only you should add and take the mitzvahs, but you should make so on a Ben. So on that is an Acher. We know very well what an Acher is called in the Talmud. But someone that's an other, make him a Ben. So, how can, what does the Abisha get from it? Yitzchak. He smiles, he's happy. Just like any father that lost a child, he doesn't know where he is. And when he comes back, no matter how dirty he is, he's accepted with great happiness and joy. And his father gets happy too. His father in Shemaim gets happy too. That when we take an Acher and you make him a Ben, there's a story with the Baal Shem Tif. There were Talmidim of the Baal Shem Tif, they're looking for a Kala for the Chassan. They're looking for a Chassan for their, for their sister. The boys weren't any small people over here. They were great Talmidim of the Baal Shem Tif. 
The Baal Shem Tiv shows him someone. Shows them someone. This is a good. This is a good shidduch for your daughter. So they get together. Both sides agree. And by the Lachaim, the Gajan party, Bashamtiv puts his hand over the Chassan's head and an abundance of tater was flying out. They were so excited of the, the Chassan, of the, of the sister. Baruch Hashem, he's learning, he knows how to learn. Months later comes the Chassan. Hashem does the same thing. Everyone is nispal excited. Chasna goes on for a while. They come home. The next day, he's not up for anything. There's no such thing. What? A, a, a learned person will not get up for Seizman Krishna, not for Seizman Trila, not for anything. They come running to the Baal Shem Tev. What should we do? What's going on over here? He's not a Lamdin. He's nothing. He's not a learned guy. He's not a Yir Shammai. He doesn't, doesn't fear God anything. Get up! Baal Shem Tev said, Don't worry. He is your intended brother-in-law. Take care of him. Teach him. And he will be a great person. That's taken from a Acher, a Ben. And while you make an Acher, a Ben, don't think you're losing out of it. You get a Haisafa too. You get, a, you get a, a, an addition to your Neshama. And then we have the Alter Rebbe. Hasidis came in abundance. It started off before uh, Petrovog and then came after Petrovog. And Zalman is Yiddish Rishneir. Shnei Oyer is two lights. A Yasha, the light that comes from above, down here. And Er Choyzer is the rebound which goes much higher. That's Shneir. What all this has to do with every Jew? That is, first of all, Yisrael Baal Shem Tev is every single Jew connected to. And the Friedrich Kedebe, he said that when he was released from prison, it was not only he was released from prison, but every single Jew was released from prison until B'Shem Yisrael Yechona. So the Ebrisha shall help that we are all connected to every single Jew. And when Mashiach comes empty right now, it'll be Viro Chobasar Yachtov, every flesh will see godliness, not just our eyes, every single flesh. The Rebbe brings a proof from the Ataena fig. A fig does not have eyes and does not have a mouth. When a person in Mesa Mashiach will grab a fig from a tree on Shabbos, the, the fig will call out at Shabbos. So we see the flesh itself will see godliness. So let's all be one, knowing that if our foot hurts or our hand hurts, we know that we have to help it out. And that's with all Jews will reveal the godliness which is in them and not bring them deeper in Golos. Long live our master, teacher, Rebbe, King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, Rebbe, King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe, King Mashiach forever and ever.